In this country, an estimated three in every 1,000 children between the ages of six and 17 are diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome, a neurobiological genetic condition which has no cure. Tourette's syndrome is a lifelong developmental disability that begins before a child reaches age 18 and affects children and adults of all races and ethnicities. Individuals with Tourette's syndrome are affected by tics, involuntary, rapid, sudden movements or vocalizations that occur repeatedly. It is a condition that waxes and wanes through the, throughout their lives and changes without warning. Those with Tourette's syndrome often have co-occurring conditions that further complicate their care and diagnoses, including attention deficit disorder, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, mood disorders, learning disabilities, handwriting dif dis difficulties, executive function disorder, and sensory processing disorder. Tourette's syndrome has historically been misrepresented and considered to be a condition of emotional disturbance instead of a condition of chemical biology. As a result, children with Tourette's syndrome are often disciplined for manifestations of their disability by educators who fail to understand that the child is unable to control his or her tics and that the child may be delayed in his or her maturity and emotional responses. Individuals with Tourette's syndrome are often teased, not accepted by their peers, and discriminated against in the workplace. Employers are required under the Americans with Disabilities Act to disregard disability in hiring or promotions and to make accommodations to support their employees with Tourette's syndrome so the employees can be successful in the workplace and earn a living. Clearly, Greater awareness of this affliction is necessary to break down the barriers for people living with Tourette's syndrome. I am proud to have the Pennsylvania Tourette's Syndrome Alliance in my legislative district. It is established to promote awareness and to provide support and disability advocacy for individuals with Tourette's syndrome in Pennsylvania. Now we have the opportunity to assist them with that effort. In the back of the house, we have two families with us who deal with this condition every day. Please welcome Rosa Hatch and her son Tyler, Amanda and John McLaughlin, and their son Jack. Would you please rise? Thank you so much for being with us today. Today, I thank you for your unanimous support of House Resolution 294, which recognizes May 15th to June 15th, 2019 as Tourette's Syndrome Awareness Month in Pennsylvania. By spreading awareness, we can take the mystery out of Tourette's Syndrome and make life better for those who must live with it every day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.